Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson. The video today is about holding on to your vision. You may envision more money, a better job, new housing, more friends, getting into college, passing a test, and it's not there yet. So that's what I'm going to talk about, that maybe you could be this close. So we're going to talk about holding on to that vision because you deserve what you want. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I'm grateful you're watching this video, grateful you enjoy my channel. My channel is here to help you manifest the life that you want and that you deserve. And I give all kinds of tools and techniques, so if that interests you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about this video, write to me in the comments and I will get back with you. But let's go ahead and get started. So you may have a vision and you're using your imagination for what you want. It could be maybe more money, a different housing, a relationship, more friends, maybe getting into college. And you are getting tired and it's just not manifesting as quick as you would like. Well, I'm going to tell you, do not give up. Keep that vision. Keep your focus on it. Now, if there are obstacles that come in your way, welcome them because that shows things are shifting. It's not life the same as it was. Any obstacles, go connect with your higher self and know how to go through them, but don't look at them as like blocks. Look at the obstacles as the energy is changing. Things are moving to get you what you want. And you know, if you get upset and you get frustrated, ask, ask God, ask the universe for signs. And you'll see repeated numbers. It could be 111, 333, 555, or um, maybe a book will come out, fall down with some insight you need. Maybe you'll see butterflies or some special birds. So notice the signs because they are there to encourage you and tell you do not give up your focus. Because when you plant seeds in the ground, that is what your imagination, your visualization, your vision does. It's those little seeds. And then they're sprouting in the ground, but you can't see it. And then all of a sudden, they'll come through the earth. And it may be just a small stalk, but eventually it grows and grows and grows. And it's the same with yours. You don't know what's going on in the spiritual world. What's kind of on the other side of the veil, what's hidden from us. There are forces at work. So just keep concentrating on those seeds and know it will produce what you want. Don't give up and keep your focus. And again, if the obstacles come up, go deep. How can you go deeper into the vision? Go deep, go with your higher mind, not your ego that wants everything the same as it was. And also ask yourself, how can you hold your vision? How can you hold your vision? Is it journaling? Is it affirmations? Is it um, closing your eyes and doing a visualization on it? maybe a vision board, how can you hold your vision? Your heart will give you the answer and then you do it. And I also want to describe three other things about your vision. The first is be careful what you plant in your imagination, in your vision, because it will come to pass. So that's why stay strong with what you want, not the way it is now the way it was, because what you put in your imagination will come onto the material plane. That's a law of physics. It will come. Quantum physics. So be careful what is in your imagination. Have it for what you want, not what you don't want. So that's the first thing. Concentrate on that. The second, don't go back to what it used to be. Oh, I never have any money. I never get a job. I am just no good at that. You know what? That's the past. That is not your future. 
Your future is with what you want. And be careful whenever you use the terms I am, I A M, because you are using the power of God. So not I am poor, I am always that way. No, positive affirmations. I am healthy. I am strong. I am wealthy. I command the I am presence, which is God, to govern perfectly my mind, home, and world. Listen to that one again. I command the I am presence to govern perfectly my mind, my home, and my world. So that's the second. Keep that vision with the affirmations. The third, whatever you want is yours and yours alone. And maybe try and keep it to yourself. It's not what your family thinks, so they have good intentions. It's not what your family wants for you. It's not what your teachers want for you. It is what do you want. And that's the imagination you use. You use your imagination and what it is you really want. Not the shoulds or the uh, other people um, telling you how it should be. No. You go to your heart. And it's yours and yours alone to use your imagination and your vision to get what you want. Now again, if you enjoy my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you have any questions, write to me in the comments. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. And remember, don't give up. Be strong and keep that vision.